There is a puzzle. Most organizations focus on increasing work engagement, and for good reason. More engaged teams are more productive, have higher retention, create happier customers and higher profits. Yet even with billions of dollars of investment over a dozen years, little has changed. Gallup's engagement index has stayed within 5% of where it was 20 years ago. Why is that? We're simply doing it wrong. When leaders talk about engagement, they either focus on productivity and profitability gains or what they want to see from their team. I'd like to see loyalty and commitment and discretionary effort and a willingness to go the extra mile. What most people hear, of course, is, you want me to work harder and not pay me more. So then they either resist or go along for a little while and then revert back to their old habits. But here's the thing. Engagement measures activated positive emotions. Engaged employees feel inspired, enthusiastic, proud. They have a sense of belonging and feel that their work matters. And guess what else they feel? Happy. Most people don't care about their engagement, but they do care deeply about their happiness. So if we can change how we think about and talk about engagement, with a focus on helping our teams experience more activated positive emotions, more happiness, then everyone starts pulling in the same direction and everybody wins. There are seven strategies that research shows meaningfully increase engagement and individual happiness. These include authentic appreciation, cultivating connection with each other, putting stress to work instead of fighting it, using our signature strengths, finding meaning in the work we do, and embracing negative emotions when we need to, and coaching more than managing your team. And you don't need to completely redesign your work or invest a lot of money to make these changes. Five minutes of a connecting activity in a weekly meeting. Two minutes asking about something good a teammate has done in your one-on-ones. Or a few minutes practicing a personal happiness habit is all it takes to make a huge difference. This pandemic has given us a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to redesign our workplaces to be happier and more engaging. Research shows us what works. There are clear strategies and everyday actions that help our teams become more connected, inspired, creative, and driven to achieve the difficult challenges we face. Now it's up to us to make that happen. <laughs>